Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss the key differences between list and set in Java. Let's get started. Let's begin with one of the most noticeable differences, ordering. A list in Java always maintains the order in which elements were added. If you add 5 items to a list in a certain order, they'll stay in that order when you retrieve them. This is great when you care about sequence, like in a to-do list or a playlist. A set, on the other hand, does not guarantee any specific order. In many cases, especially when using something like hash set, the order can feel random. If you need ordering in a set, you'd need something like linked hash set or tree set, which come with their own behaviors, but by default, a basic set doesn't worry about the order at all. Now let's talk about duplicates. Lists allow duplicates. That means you can add the same value multiple times and the list will keep them all. So if you are collecting search terms, votes or logs where repeats are expected, list is a good choice. Sets on the other hand do not allow duplicate elements. If you try to add the same item twice, the set will silently ignore it. This is super useful when you need a collection of unique values like user IDs, product SQs or tags. What about null values? Well, both list and set may allow null elements, but it depends on the specific implementation. For example, array list allows a null value and even multiple nulls. Hash set allows a single null value, but something like tree set, which relies on sorting, may throw an exception if you try to add null because null can't be compared to other elements. So it's not just about list was set, it's also about which concrete class you are using. Now let's go deeper into the implementations and how you interact with these collections. For lists, the main implementations are ArrayList and LinkedList. ArrayList is usually preferred because it gives you quick access to elements using an index, like calling get method with index2 to grab the third item. That makes list ideal when you need a random access or want to loop through items by position. With sets, you will typically use hash set, linked hash set, or tree set. Sets don't offer index-based access. So you can't say, give me the item at index 3. That concept doesn't really apply to sets. Instead, sets focus on checking whether an element exists and ensuring uniqueness. Now let's look at performance. And this is where it gets interesting. Lists are generally faster when you need to access items by index. So if you know the position of the element you want, lists give you quick and predictable performance. Sets, on the other hand, are generally faster when it comes to checking if an item exists or when adding and removing items, especially in large collections. That's because sets are optimized around uniqueness and they often use hash-based structures to perform fast lookups. So when should you use each? Use a list when you care about the order of items and when it's okay to have duplicates. Think of things like task queues, form inputs, logs or ordered selections. Use a set when you want to ensure that each item appears only once, like usernames, product tags or selected items where repeats don't make sense. Choosing the right collection type can drastically improve both performance and clarity in your code. So let's recap the big picture. List maintain order, allow duplicates, and provide index-based access. Sets don't maintain order by default, don't allow duplicates, and are optimized for uniqueness and fast lookups. Understanding these differences helps you write more efficient, readable, and intentional Java code.